Hey ladies, how are you? It's Hageet. I hope everyone is doing great, of course. Um, today's tutorial is going to be, hopefully, a very cool one. Okay, so that was kind of cheesy. Um, meaning, why a cool one? Well, because I want to share with you things that I do um, during the summer to keep cool. Um, and not only things that I do, but things that I've heard that other ladies do that I don't do just yet and I might do don't know but um, I have had some ladies ask me okay tell me you know how do you stay cool and and are you hot and I'm sure everybody gets asked the same thing especially you know if you dress a little bit different than everybody else um, that's not necessarily a bad thing it's just different so first of all am I hot yes I'm hot do I try to stay cool of course I try to stay cool. I mean, who wouldn't? Um, so let me just tell you a couple of things and I may repeat myself from a previous video just because it's something that's been working for me and um, it might work for you. I hope it works for you. If it doesn't work for you, then I don't know. We can try something else or you can try something else. I mean, this is all a sisterhood of wrapping so we can all share our tips. Um, okay, so First thing is first, um, what I do to stay cool is first of all, I try using light colors. It doesn't always work because I do like dark colors. I, I'm, I'm a big fan of black and um, dark gray and you know stuff like that. But um, I try using light colors and I try using materials that are more breathable. Breathable, you know what I mean? That can breathe better. Yeah, breathe better. Okay, and um, second thing that I do is, as you can see, my poofs are, night, are now white. So I use lighter color poofs. And I use them more towards the back of my head. Now, before I do a bun, whether it's a high pony, whether it's a low po um, ponytail, whether I bun it or whether I loop it, before I do any of that, I always tend to wet my hair a little bit. I'm not soaking my hair. It's not like it's drenched. I just get it and I wet it a little bit, especially around here. That's just for me. Um, I just wet it a little bit around there and kind of then I put my poof on and it kind of helps me out. I wrap with light colors or I tend to or I hope to wrap with light colors and also with thin scarves. Um, right now, when I finish, I'm going to do a wrap. Um, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do but it should be something simple. And according to what I'm wearing, I'm gonna kinda throw that in there, okay? So I start wearing, for example, I use more, me personally, Hagit, uses more rectangle scarves. Um, square scarves that I turn into a triangle, I basically just use that for um, the princess look um, or just a long flowing look. I don't use it for buns that much because I don't like them. I find them a little bit harder to work with, but that's just me. Um, and I'm gonna do a wrap and I'm gonna show you why. Um, that just happens to me, believe it or not. So I am gonna be using this long um, rectangle scarf. And look, it's folded double and look how clear it, you can still see through it. You can still see through it. So imagine when it's just one, you see how much thinner it is? It's very thin. So use thin scarves, um, that helps. Light colors helps. When you layer, use headbands. Headbands help instead of using scarf and scarf and scarf and scarf. If you use headbands, forget about it. I mean, you're eliminating two, I always drop something, two to three scarves. Um, I've heard people that actually wet their hair, like, I don't, I don't like wet my hair, I just wet it a little bit here, I mean, I don't even know if you consider that wetting, I just, you know, you can see it, it's like a little bit wet around here, that's usually kind of like what I do, but I know of people that have their hair wet, and then they put on their poof, and they say it's like an air conditioning, don't know, haven't tried it, don't know if I will just yet, but I've heard of that, and I've also, I've also heard that you take your poof, your poor poof, and you wet it. Now, I, I'm sure it's not drenched, but you kind of wet it some, and you put it in the freezer, and then you take it out the next day, and you put it on, and it's like a walking air conditioning. 
Don't know, haven't tried it, but I'm sure that that may also work. I don't know. Um, there is also a theory that if you show your ears when you wrap, if you have your ears uncovered, you're not as hot. If your ears are covered, you're hot. So uncover your ears and you won't be as hot. Got that? Light colors, thin scarves, wet your hair some, you can freeze your <laughs> you can freeze your poof. <laughs> I'm sure it's not like frozen because imagine you're walking around with like a block. If you think it's heavy, imagine with that frozen, but I don't think it works that way. Uncover your ears. Use headbands for layering. Ladies, headbands for layering. Okay? Or you don't even have to use a poof. Sometimes during the summer, you don't even have to use a poof. And I'm going to show you that one really quick. Oh, wait, before I forget. There's also three different types of um, scarves that you can use that would just make a beautiful wrap and it's only you're basically using one and it's just going to take it to the next level i think when you have those lazy days or you just don't feel like wrapping um use these which i'm going to show you really quick and then hopefully after this tutorial i am hold on, i'm going to put you down a little bit um after this tutorial i'm going to show you how to use these scarves okay so you have this which is called a sinar or an apron they're kind of they're kind of like the same thing so it's basically this one is a long rectangle and, and it has here a pattern all the way and then it changes here all the way and it's just a really long thin rectangle you can use this people just use this one with a poof or this is like the apron style and you're gonna see why, look. See, it looks like a t-shirt, like a shirt. One side has a pattern. Doesn't have to, it, you know, you, you get it however you want. And this other side is like this. So when you put it on and you layer it, it looks awesome. Or you can use the same, it's the same idea. This one, you see, it's already sewn in. And this one is a large triangle. It's a triangle. And you just use one of these. So I'm going to show you Bezrat Hashem, God willing, really quick, sooner than later. Um, right after this video, I'm going to show you how to wrap these. Um, because they can kind of be tricky. Um, you have to see which length you get. Or you can get these, which is one of my two go to go to's. Like when I don't feel like wrapping and I still want to look like, bam, awesome. There's a lot of women here um, around where I live that make these beautiful, amazing scarves. They're already cut like a triangle, pretty much the same thing. And they just have a beautiful design on it. And it just comes to the front and you look like you're all done and ready. You can go to weddings, you can go to a club if you wanna to go to a club, dinner, whatever you wanted to. And you look amazing. So you can use that for the summer. The materials is always the point. You have to check on what material. And it's just one scarf. And you put it together and it looks boom. Awesome. Okay, so I feel like I'm talking really fast. And I am talking fast. Because there's a lot of things that I want to do. And I don't want this video to be so super duper long. Okay. Now, I'm going to step away. Because I'm going to, we're going to pretend that you're seeing my hair. So this would be a wrap to use during the summertime um, when you don't want to use a poof, okay? When you just want to use your hair. So just give me one second. Okay, so here I am. So this is my hair. Now, the only thing I suggest is that you wear a velvet headband. That's it. Even if your hair is loose, wear a, a, a velvet headband. Now, I have a pony in the back, and I'm going to kind of see if I leave it loose, like if it was, like if I'm pretending my hair was loose. So, my hair's a little long, not that long. So, that would be my hair just sitting there on a pony. Okay? So, these are actually, this was actually one of the very first reps I learned to do when I started wrapping. So, 
Here we go. We have a square, a large square scarf. Thin, always thin, especially during the um, summertime. Nobody wants to see you sweat, even though they will, and it's okay. Um, and you're gonna fold it into a triangle. I'm gonna show you why. I always find these hard. Okay, you're gonna fold it into a triangle. And you're gonna place it in the front, like this. Now again, like I've said before, 100,000 times, I like showing a little bit of hair just because I feel that my head breathes better. So take this and put it a little bit more toward the back, showing a little bit of my hairline. Okay, so you're gonna take your tails and you're gonna do this. <laughs> this is so cute because this used to be one of my first head wraps. Okay. And you're done. Can you believe it? You finished. Now, I usually don't do this anymore. I do this when I'm at home. See it? And I don't want to mess with anything, but I would not. I kind of like I'll go to the store maybe with this, but not really. Not anymore. Just because I mean, it's not a big deal, it's just me, you know? So, I do this, and I also kind of just go like this, tie it around, right in the front, and I tie it here. Ta-da! So this is it, and I tend to open my hair. I open it, I leave it loose. And this is the look that I put on when I'm really hot. As you can tell, that's what I do. Now, you can add a headband to it before you tied it. You could have added a headband. You can add a flower and make it a little bit prettier, whatever you want. So I just wanted to show you that that's basically the one that my go-to when I'm hot. And I also do this. I take my tail and I hold it underneath. Let me show you. Wait. Okay, I take this. I go like this which is going to be a little messy, which is not me, but whatever. And then I'll take this here. <laughs> this is like the craziest, but trust me, this is really, it's, it works really good. Oh, and your scarves, ladies, rip the, the tags off of them. You don't really need to use them. I pull it. I pull it and I pull it. See how I'm pulling it? And then I open it. I always open, I try to open up my scarves. It's actually a really cute look. I'm not gonna lie. But I don't use it that much, look. See it? Now this is if your hair was loose. Now, let's get to what I'm going to do today. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to be wearing a white classic poof. I'll be right back. Hold on, I'm almost done. Now with any poof that you get, when you first get your poofs, you have to play with them. That's, that's just like any kind of clothing that you buy. Just almost, even when you buy this, you're like fixing them around, I mean. Any kind of thing, you have to kind of set it how you want it and how you like it. Okay, it's not like you're gonna put it on and boom, it's like a miracle. I mean, it's almost a miracle, but you have to work on the miracle. Okay, so I'm gonna wear this. And I am going with a green. Okay. So I folded it in half. 
and I'm gonna align it right here hold it tight always hold it tight here make sure that your corners your they're even which they weren't hold it tight and tight in the back There we go, tight in the back. Okay, I'm doing that. I hear my baby coming. <sighs> Let me try to do this really quick because my son, I think it's about to come here any minute. And then there goes goodbye with the tutorial. Okay, so I'm putting on a headband, here we go. I'm flipping these out so it's easier for me to tie up. Okay, making this very simple. Take it here and I'm gonna open it open it and I put it towards the back and I'm going in the work okay now when you tuck in tuck under your poof okay not over your poof under your poof and try to spread it out spread it out because if not you're gonna get a really bad headache take this one and you're gonna go ahead here you go and then this one you can kind of put inside through here I don't know if you've noticed, but I usually tuck, I tuck in, I tuck it in what I want to um, put. Now, I have just this white headband, and now I'm just placing it towards the back, because that's what I want to do. Place it towards the back. No. This is just me being a little psycho. Okay. And I just saw this string here. It's, it was part of a belt. Not even a belt, but you know what I mean. So I'm just going to take it here and I'm going to kind of play with it a little bit. Put it towards the front. Opened it. Moved it towards the back with this. it around go here 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 and I'm gonna tie it here tie it here I'm gonna kind of like hide this hide it one minute hide it. hide it here and hide it here okay so there you go there's my band. Just trying to straighten it out as best as I can. I'm just making this as neat as I can. Okay, there you go. Okay. Then I'm going to take this flower. I'm going to put it right here. And Okay. And I don't have any pens to put it, but this has one of these. Now, I usually do not pin with, um, I don't pin down. I don't use a lot of pins on my scarves just because I, I think that they break my scarves. So I pin it. This time I'm just putting it here just so you can see it. It's going to go down like this. It's not going to stand up because, um. I don't like when my flowers stand up. I just don't have. Very unprepared. I don't have um, the pin, but okay, ladies. It goes right here. And this is my wrap. It's like standing up like, nah! like a wild child. Wild child. Okay, here are my earrings. <gasps> Check it out. Oh my gosh, it happened so fast. It happened so fast. Okay. And here you go, look, let me show you. Come on, baby, come out. Okay, so this is it. I have a white poof. I wet my hair just a little bit. My ears are out. I have only one scarf. I have a uh, headband and just a little lace thing that I got, not, not lace, a little belt thing. I put on a flower. That's it, that's my look, I'm gonna turn around. And 
That's it. It's nice and it's cool. Now, I want to show you what I'm wearing without showing you the mess in my bathroom. <laughs> look at me. Look at me and only me. Okay, here we go. Ta -da, 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 ta -da. You see? So, this is my skirt. This is a sh undershirt. And this is my upper shirt. Ta-da! It's me again. I, I kind of always wear an undershirt just because... I do, um, and I have a long skirt and I have some sandals. That's it, that's my look and I'm done. And of course I will pin this and then I'm gonna post the pictures, okay? So I hope this was helpful. I hope you ladies all stay nice and cool as best as we can. I mean, it is what it is. We just have to make the best of it. But whatever you do, whatever style of wrap you do, whether you use a scenar, which I would do a, a I would do something now later or a triangle or a square or whatever you do just wear it good love it and just wear it good that's it that's all i have see ya bye